Here in this problem, we will consider the expression given here, this double integral. And we will evaluate it by first viewing y as a constant and integrating with respect to x, and then integrating with respect to y. So let's rewrite this expression here on top. Okay, so first here we want to integrate the inner part of this integral. So since d of x is in the inner part of the integral, we want to integrate that first. So we will be integrating this expression here, x squared y plus 2y with respect to x. And we will treat y as some sort of constant, like such as 1 or 2, it's just, it's a constant like that. So when we integrate x squared y, we notice that due to the power rule, x squared, when integrated, becomes x to the cubed over 3. And of course, y is constant, so we carry it through. Plus 2y, which is when integrated with respect to x, is just 2yx. Since it's the inner integral, we're evaluating this whole expression with respect. We're evaluating this whole expression from 1 to 5. And so when evaluating, we get 5 to the third, y over 3, plus 5 times 2 times y, which is 10y, minus 1 to the third y over 3, which is just y over 3, plus 1 times 2 times y, which is just 2y. Okay. So 5 to the third is the same as saying 125, 5 times 5 times 5. So now when Finding this, we say that 125 minus 1 is 124. Over 3. And 10y minus 2y is 8y. Eight is just another way of saying 24 over 3. So now we'll have common denominators between these two. Sorry, this should be plus. And so 124 plus 24 equates is equal to 148. And now we could substitute this for the inner integral. And this here is a very simple definite integral problem. The integral of 148y over 3, integrating with respect to y from 1 to 5. And y is to the power of 1, so using the power rule, it will equate to y squared over 2.
evaluated from one to five. Okay, so 148 and six both have the number two as a common factor and therefore we could reduce this fraction to make the problem much simpler. Okay, so, oh, I'm sorry, this, this integral should be from two to four, uh, from, yes. Okay, so 74 times four squared all over three minus 74 two squared over three and four squared is 16 and two squared is four so we could rewrite this as 74 times 16 over 3 minus 74 times 4 over 3. Okay, and we can simplify this to be 74 over 12 over 3. And here we could reduce this further because 12 and 3, uh, they're both have the factor of 3 and therefore we can cancel out the denominator and reduce 12 to 4. So we're left with 74 times 4 and this is equal to 296. And 296 is your final answer.